gave me the, the privilege of a mic sit at first this morning. And, you know, for the longest time of the last uh, 10 or so hours, I could not find what I wanted to talk about. I knew that I was passionate about something in the world of sports. And then, literally about 20 minutes before the show started, I see, well, Kyrie Irving is, it says he's rooted in his vaccine stance. I said, oh, here's a back and forth with a reporter on what – on, on, on what Kyrie said. So Kyrie Irving is being asked with the with Kevin Durant being injured, does that ch- kind of change his mind with the whole um with, with getting vaccinated now? Like would he be moved to do it now? He says, no, I'm rooted in that, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's it's my belief. Wonderful. Then the reporter asked him, well, you know, a bunch of basketball fans, you know, wanted to he's like, really, who? And the guy's like, a bunch of basketball fans want to know, oh, well, those are those basketball fans. I'm, I'm a human being. Ky- Kyrie. Kyrie, okay, this is this is my gripe, okay? Kyrie went on some tangents about how he's, you know, basketball and entertainment are wonderful. He's grateful to play this game, but he's a human being. Kyrie Andrew Irving. Do you understand why anybody in the entire universe knows who you are? Do you know why you have this platform, which apparently is platform about being a voice for the voiceless, seemed a little bit more important to him than his actual human being um, status here? I want to know why Kyrie Irving thinks he's entitled to use this platform to do this. Because, yeah, at first he's saying, oh, well, you know, it's, it's my body, and I respect the crap out of that. But then he says, oh, you know, a bunch of people are losing jobs, so I want want to stand up for them. That's not your job, pal. You get paid millions and millions and millions of dollars to entertain me and Aaron and those reporters and those, yes, basketball fans. It's not going to kill you to get vaccinated. But don't play around with the money. Stop that. You are a basketball player. This is who Kyrie Irving's brand is. Whether you like it or not, you are not viewed as a human being. You're viewed as a basketball player. I'm sorry. That's how this works, pal. You want to go play in some um, rec league? I don't care. Do you. Do not come to the NBA and tell me you are not a basketball player. That is a lie. You know it's a lie. And what is your thoughts on this guy saying he's not a basketball player? Because I think that's very weird to say. If you're part of an organization that employs basketball players – that is literally who you are and why Kyrie, your name is existed in society. Yeah, I can see both sides of this situation. Like, I understand there's a lot of people who say this all the time, and and I, I like to consider myself in the same boat, but I'm not a basketball player. I don't make millions of dollars. Like, right. what I do for a living is not who I am. I can understand what he's saying, but it's I can understand where you're saying the, you know, you can't have your cake and eat it too. But as long as his employer, the Brooklyn Nets, is okay with this, because I, it doesn't sound like Kyrie, I mean, it does kind of, it sounds like Kyrie is fine with what he's decided to do, but instead of just ignoring these reporters, he's giving in to their ability basically to, let's call it, put him down for this, you know, telling him that the fans don't like this, telling him that, you know, you're the most famous unvaccinated person in the world or one of the most famous unvaccinated people in the world. Like, yeah, you're saying these things like it should matter to him or, you know, it's, he should be afraid of the consequences. Like if he, it sounds to me that if I, if Kyrie Irving were to be cut for his vaccination status, he would be at a crossroads. And I think Kyrie Irving's the kind of person that might never play basketball again. If, if these, if the NBA basically says, "Look, you either get vaccinated or you're done. You don't play in this league anymore." And Kyrie, at least to me right now, I'd like to think that if he's a person that sticks to his beliefs or his guns, whatever you want to call about it, you know, figuratively or literally, I like to think that he's a person that's actually going to stick to it. I mean, we had the situation with Colin Kaepernick. You know, oh, you know, I'm being blackballed from the NFL. I, you know, I I can play. And then, okay, well, here's opportunities to play. Well, you know, something came up, you know, a tryout (laughs) gone wrong. Here's the Denver Broncos who were offering you a deal. Well, it's not, you know, exactly what I want. Here's the Baltimore Ravens that were going to bring you in. Well, let me have my girlfriend sabotage it. You know, 
So it seems to me like Kyrie, I'd like to think that he is a person that, that his word means something. So in terms of, it's not a defense of Kyrie, but he's right. I mean, if this is what he wants to do and the decisions and consequences are all on him and the Brooklyn Nets are still letting him do this. I mean, yes, I get it, Mike. He is a basketball player. I 100% understand your, your point of view. Like, you wouldn't be a millionaire or, you know, you know, multimillionaire. You wouldn't be the notoriety that you would have. No one would care. No one would ask, come and ask you about your vaccination status if you weren't a basketball player. So for me, it, with in terms of Kyrie Irving, like I respect his decision to do everything and, and the consequences of not playing home games, possibly being a, I think honestly, and this is just purely opinion, I think we're coming out uh, you know, less and less, and we'll talk about some of this stuff later in the show. Like, I think we're being less and less punitive on the COVID situation coming out of this this winter. And for somebody who you know is vaccinated but can understand the reasons people don't, I say if this is your belief and this is your you know your value, hold on, don't give up, Kyrie. Don't give in. If it affects the team in the playoffs, then. That's a, that's something Brooklyn has to live with. So I want to say again that it's not really the beliefs and really the money thing. It's that Kyrie is really part of an organization. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, if he wants to beat Kyrie, the rec basketball player, Kyrie, the big three player, go ahead and do it. Okay. Just don't be the Kyrie, the NBA player, and expect to be treated like an NBA player still. Because but what he's, he's doing is completely screwing it over. He's not being part of the organization anymore. But he's made his decisions publicly, and the organization has still decided to make him a part of it. Now, in the beginning, they didn't. Remember, in the beginning, they were like, just stay away. We're done That's with you. Kevin Durant probably threatened to leave. Wouldn't surprise me. I mean, it clearly seems like whatever Kevin Durant and James Harden are saying to Kyrie is not making his mind up for him either. He seems, <laughs> he seems pretty... Uh, pretty understood what he's doing and 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 the, the consequences that are happening like unless something change, i mean what happens if something changes before now between now and the playoffs where they're going to allow Kyrie to play home games like he stood by right. his ground and the nba is basically the one that folded in terms of letting people play like maybe he believes that you know this is what's going to happen or he's under the impression this was going to happen and i you know i don't have there's a lot of people i mean i know some unvaccinated people that you know, they finally did away with these mandates of, you know, biweekly testing for these guys. And, you know, it's just something that I don't think Kyrie's an anti-vaxxer. I just think that I don't either. A, that's the thing. It, it's it's not an anti-vax thing. I just don't know if he really feels comfortable about putting something in his body that he still apparently doesn't have enough information on. And that's fine. I mean, there's nothing else, nothing else I can think of except, except for vaccines that we're, you know, being forced to do in terms of by the government <laughs> that, like, the whole country just seems to be in this collective group think about. Like I said, I'm vaccinated and I'm I'm totally okay with my decision, but I am totally okay with a decision of someone who says they don't want to be vaccinated and I'm not afraid to go around them. I mean, you look at what's going on the, the, with the pandemic. I mean, vaccinated, unvaccinated people are both getting sick. Now, are they different levels of sick? Yeah, but you know what? If a person who's unvaccinated catches COVID and passes away, that's their, de- I mean, that was their decision. That happened to them. Why should I feel any responsibility or anything? But they, they didn't get vaccinated. They passed away. If it happens to Kyrie, I mean, I don't feel for that. But that's their decision. Absolutely.